Today's video is going to be all about the Grishko Fuate model. This video has been a long time coming. I'm sorry about that. I've been meaning to do it for so long. Let's jump into it. Get yourself comfortable. I have a lot of information to share. So before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, our name for America is now Nikolai, which is Mr. Grishko's first name. So if I'm speaking um, and using terms Grishko Nikolai or Nikolai Grishko, it's because I want to be sure that you guys in America are aware that our name is Nikolai in America. The reason for this is we wanted to be sure that you guys get authentic handmade products from our Russia factories and that you also get access to the entire range um, that we have, which you didn't get access to before. Um, and yeah, that's why. So Mr. Grishko's first name is Nikolai and that's your name for the US market right now. So of course, Grishko name is still um, what we use in Europe and all the other countries that are under the Grishko brand name. But we are all the same company. Um, we are dealing, you know, if you get Nikolai products in USA, you can guarantee that they're the authentic products. Anyway, let's jump to it. So here we have the Fuate model. Now, some of you might be familiar with this model and some of you might not. The reason why some of you might not have heard of it is it is one of the traditional Grishko models and it isn't really um, stocked in most stores um, because there was basically other models that were in, other kind of models improved on this last that came out that people tended to prefer and I'll get around to that part soon. So the Fuate itself um, I'm going to read you a bit about what Grishko say about it first and I'm going to tell you my own thoughts. Then in this video, I'm going to go through all the attributes of the shoes and I'm going to talk to you about Fuate, Fuate Pro, Fuate Pro Flex, Triumph, Triumph Pro, um, Maya One, Maya One Pro, Maya One Pro Flex, Alana for One. I'll also speak about um, the Super Triumph Standard and the Super Triumph Pre-Arch. Um, basically, I'm going to be covering all the models built on the Fuate last and tell you in depth about their attributes, how they feel on point, um, and also talk to you about how to choose a Grishko model for yourself. Um, so let's go to it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to tell you a bit about what Grishko say about the Fuate. I'll tell you my personal findings on it too. So Grishko themselves tell us that it is recommended for narrow feet with medium or high arch. It's a flat and stable medium platform balanced by hand and it features smart paste. And the smart paste is um, a type of paste that recalls and takes shape of your foot after the very first time that you wear it. If you aren't aware, there are different pastes in the shoes. Um, I'll speak about that in a moment. It also features a thick full grain leather outsole, which is longer durability. I will personally tell you now my thoughts on Fuate. Fuate model um, features what I like to call the traditional paste, which is, um, you know, the classic smart paste. What that means is it's not as flexible as the flexible paste that we have in the other models, which we do have in other uh, models built on Fuate, which I'll go through in a moment. So as you can see, it's a harder box. It also has a beautiful V-vamp. Now this one here does not have a drawstring because traditionally Fuate um, and Maya One did not come with a drawstring, but they now do. So if you don't want the drawstring, you can just simply pull it out. As you can see, it's quite um, a semi-tapered kind of box here. It's quite broad. Um, in my opinion, it's not just um, for medium and high arches, it does actually work on lower arch feet as well. You just have to be very careful with the shape that you choose. But also when you're choosing a point shoe, don't just fixate on one factor. There are many factors that go into choosing a shoe. And I'm gonna go through um, what Grishko have put together on their catalog for you and give you the link in the description below so you can see that information. The Fuate model also features um, a very thick shank in the traditional one. 
and it was originally a releve shank um it still is in the photo releve shanks are for springing up onto point but you can also roll through them i've got customers that you know um do actually roll through fote and they can do that now with the fote shank it comes in different strengths just like all the other grishko nikolai models that have, you know do as well and this is a medium i will tell you that the medium in the fote is actually quite sturdy and personally i prefer to stock it in the pro flex model and i will talk to you about that in a moment so it's a very sturdy shank as you can see this is medium and it doesn't have much bend and it's definitely thicker in the demi point area probably because you know it was designed for releve um it also features quite medium side quarters and a, and a quite a high heel here with a traditional satin of course you can order it with different colors also you can um not have this one in vegan option because of the outer sole this is an option this isn't an option to have it in vegan right now um probably won't ever be available in vegan because the reason why is the outer sole has to be this kind of uh, material to keep the construction of the shank together it features a very nice board platform as you can see I'm just going to show you guys a little bit closer up the profile height is quite high not super high but you know sort of in between there so it's great for feet that are medium profile or higher profile if you've got a low profile foot you're probably going to get where your foot's in it regardless of the size and width you're going to be able to put your fingers down the top which we don't want so if you've got a very low profile foot it's likely to not work for you um personally on point this feels a very well balanced shoe it has a lovely stable platform um and of course the platform gets broader still when you go up whips and um so for example this is a three and a half in a three x and it's still got a broad platform there so that's the foite i'm going to talk to you a little bit about alanova alanova is you can get the version one or version two the version two is built on vegan Velast. i'll do a separate video for that but the version one is built on foite now there's a lot of confusion about this because people don't understand the difference between that one and Fuote. Now, the only difference is, is actually the Alanova one was built um, mostly for American market and it featured different way the paste was taken up the shoe. So in the Fuote, the paste is, goes all the way to the binding and it's very like quite high wing there, as you can see. Um, but in Alanova one, the paste was not taken as high up that's the only difference. But I know that there's been a lot of different information on the internet, such as people saying that Alanova One featured a roll through shank and Eleve model, whereas the Fuate was a Releve model. But actually, I've had it confirmed that they're the same shoe, just different in the paste. For the American market, um, you will get Alanova One, but you can request Fuate, however, it's on um, order so it means it will take only up to two weeks um, and ship on day 15 usually but i want to let you know that since Fuate, we've had many great models come out based on this last so it's really good to think about trying the models that came out after this model because we have upgraded and changed attributes about it so we've got more variety built on this last to suit more fee and give you different um feelings in the shoe and more variety basically so i'll explain the differences when i go through them all so that sums up the fuote and a lot of a one just in case you guys were a little bit curious now the fuote also comes in pro and pro flex option and the a lot of a one also comes in pro and pro flex option let me talk to you a bit about the differences between pro and pro flex in case you weren't aware i have here the fuote in pro flex and this is medium, like the medium shank I just showed you in the traditional fate. But can you see, it's a lot more generous. It wants to mould to the arch more so. And it has an easier demi point. So if you want a shoe that is easier to roll through and you like fate, then you can go for this model. But you can also go for Maya 1, which has an even easier roll through still. And I'll get to that in a second. So with Pro, Pro basically means sound absorption. But it also gives... A little bit more flexibility in the box and the shank itself not drastically in some models but in some you can really feel it 
Now with ProFlex, it's just combining both sound absorption, but also flexibility. So with the sound absorption in say Fuate, in the platform and pleats, we have silent knot technology. So it means that the shoe isn't as loud on stage. Now in, um, say for example, the Miracle model, which I covered in my 2007 video, the Miracle has sound absorption, not only in the, the platform and, and pleats, but also in the demi point area. The Miracle is actually the lightest weight model that we have. So with Pro, we can get that option in quite a few Grishko models. On the Fuate last, Pro option comes in Fuate, it comes in Alanova, it comes in Maya One, it comes in Triumph as well. With Pro Flex, um, there's a little bit of a difference there that I want to speak to you about. The Pro Flex shank in Fuate model and Alanova model will have a shank that is, you know, it's a thicker construction and also it it's more um, sturdier than say the Pro Flex in my one. Let me show you that. I only have one of my old personal Pro Flex my ones, um, so you're gonna have to bear with the tattiness. This is also a medium, but can you see in a Pro Flex in my one, when you feel it, the layers are thinner because the shank construction is different. It is a roll through model, elevate model and look how bendy it is look i mean i have worn this one but even when it was new out of the bag it wants to bend lower down and it has a lot more flexibility even in that demi point so if you're going to compare the pro flex in fuate alanova one and in the maya one there are going to be differences and also don't forget my one has a, a machine stitched sole with different layers here okay so that's that bit that covers the pro and pro flex in case you were wondering also i wanted to mention about choosing grishko nikolai point shoes before um, i go on speaking about the other models now on the catalog page for Fuate, um again the link is below in the description book in the description box rather they say Fuate is developed with consideration of anatomic features of the high arch and narrow foot Usually it's Egyptian or Greek style of foot, but in bigger width, it can be suitable for Roman type. Fuate is the implementation of a classic point shoe form, thin, elegant with high arch. Um, so that just gives you a little bit of background information about it. Now, my personal findings with fitting Fuate or models built on Fuate is it's a very good all-rounder last. I can fit you know narrow feet to super wide feet in it however as i mentioned if you have a low profile foot you will struggle with this model because it is higher in the profile here um it's also great for toes that aren't super tapered if you have really really tapered toes you might find that you get too much space even in the correct width and you might find that you aren't held in the shoe enough so just be aware of that as always Try on all the Nikolai Grishko models that you can, um, you know, experiment with your fitter, you know, because sometimes you never know what's going to work until you try it on. And even when I fit dancers, I usually find four to five different models that work for them, which is astounding. We have so much possibility and we have over 12,000 variations, plus the option to do custom order. So um, Grishko Nikolai themselves have actually put in their catalog a helpful page and this page basically tells you all about the point shoe features it tells you about the glue the materials the technology um about the classic shank construction also the innovative shank construction and we also have a page which tells you how to choose now this is a very straightforward page to follow um, you know, as I mentioned, feel free to actually try the models on in person as well, um, because sometimes you can be surprised, but this is a great page and I'm just going to run through it for you. Link will be below in the description. So it tells us that the dancer should first choose the last according to the foot shape and toe configuration and next go for the box, platform, vamp and other features. So in the first part, First of all, it will tell you, it tells us, the last is the main attribute which creates the inner form of point shoes. It is the base of proper support, health and comfort. The Nikolai point shoes or Grishko are the most customized in the world. 
All our pointies are based on five different forms. 2007, Fouette, Smart Point, Elite, the Garnever. Each last is designed to suit a variety of foot shapes and toe configurations. Honestly, guys, it's absolutely astounding how much variation we have. It's amazing. And it shows us a lovely little diagram of the different lasts. So the last is what the point shoe is built on. And with the diagram, it also shows us a little arrow going across this part, which tells us about the arch of the foot that is going to work in that shoe and kind of shows us also the profile height. So it has the five lasts, so you can see the shape and it really helps you to get a grasp of what they look like before you've even had them in your hand. Next, we go on to the shape. So down the bottom, it shows us the Garnava Fuerte 2007 Smart Point Elite, and it shows us the shape of the box, which is this part here, which is really good information because it shows us the differences in how tapered they are, how much more, um, you know, rounded they are, square, you know, all the different box shapes. Next, we go on to the platform. So it's gonna, it shows us the different shapes in platform. We have medium, small, and wide. Just to let you know that in custom order, you can make it a little bit wider, but you can't go super wide to the extent that it changes the last, obviously. And top tip, if you find a shoe that you really like, but the platform feels a little bit narrow to you and you can't go up a width, you can darn around the outside very chunkily to make it wider and more secure. I will do my updated video on that because my darning technique has improved so much. Next up, we have the wings. So the wings of the shoe are this part here. Now, it has high or medium, so you can get different wing heights. Again, we can customise that if you need to in a special order. Next, we have the vamp height and the vamp shape. We also have, um, yeah, the vamp height is down the bottom. It says high, medium or low. Um, for those of you who don't know, when you're choosing your vamp height, you must always ensure that your toe joints are covered. You don't want to go too high that it drowns your foot and you can't achieve demi point um, and it doesn't help you to get over. But you don't want to go too low that you knuckle or your toe, toe joints aren't covered. Um, and of course, we can also customise that in special order as well. Next up, it gives us a little handy diagram which shows us the shape of toes. Um, which is super handy and yep it gives us a vamp cut too next up over on the other side we've got this cool diagram where it shows us egyptian greek and roman type of foot this is to do with the configuration of your foot most people are going to fit into these three categories you know sometimes you get someone who's like in between then it gives us um, down the left side of the chart, high arch, medium arch, low arch. So simply you would find, you'll go to the left of the chart and you'll decide, you know, for example, if you've got medium arch, you'll go to medium arch up part on the left. Then you'll scroll over and you'll see that um, you can choose your toe configuration. Um, so for example, if you've got medium arch and Egyptian feet in that box, it will give you a selection of shoes that you could try that they recommend which is great because if you're not if you're new to Grishko or Nikolai point shoes it gives you a little handy way of getting to grips with them of course as mentioned feel free to try others you never know um, I'm always astounded with how many models suit a dancer and how she feels in them or he feels so that's great we have that page then we have a page about classic shank construction and innovative shank construction. I'm not going to read out what they say about it. I will tell you my personal thoughts on that because you guys can read that for yourselves at your leisure. We also go down to technology and it tells you about Pro and Flex um, and Pro Flex, which I spoke about earlier on. And it gives us a little diagram of the parts and components of a point shoe. Next up, it tells us about the glue, which I'm going to go into in a second, and about the materials, the outsole. It's incredible, really good information. And then we have a page about point shoe features. So it goes on to tell you all about, you know, for example, you find Fuerte on here. It tells you what the shape is. It tells you about the wings. It tells you about the vamp shape, vampire platform paste, sole, and other features. Okay, so I've gone through that. Link below if you want to read about it. Next up, I'm gonna go, we've gone up, we've now done Fuerte. I've told you about Alanova. Um, so, you know, guys, try not to fixate too much um, on thinking about Fuerte and Alanova. Let's think about now the other models that we've brought out over the years, which um, are different versions of these two shoes, but have some really great new attributes. So let's speak about Maya One, first of all. 
So Maya One again used to come without a drawstring. Now it has a drawstring. As you can see, looks just like Forte because it's built on the same last. We have V-shaped vamp like Forte does. It's the same paste they use in the classic Forte. And it looks like Forte from the sides, from the platform, as you can see, profile height. However, here's where it gets interesting. We now have a machine stitch sole can be made vegan and we also have a different construction of the shank it's like um 2007 shank if you've ever worn that shoe um as far as i'm aware it's the same construction so this is a medium as you can see we've got a lovely it wants to melt into the arch at the three quarter area it also features an easier roll through it's more lightweight than fote um i'm just gonna Look at the notes that um, Grishko give on it too, just in case there's something that they say about it that I don't speak about. So in their notes, they say that it's the classic point shoes, give the ballerina strong support for advanced on point elements. It's also, it says about, you know, it says the kind of similar notes to what um, Fate, because of course it is like Fate. And I'm just going to get up some further notes. Um, I This is the shoe that I've worn for many years. It's my pers one of my personal favourites that I have custom made usually. Um, I'm just going to get up some more notes here for you guys. One second. Because I wanted to make sure I cover everything. Yeah, so basically I spoke about it to the degree that it needs to be spoke about. It is extra light. The reason why it is extra light is because, of course... The difference in sole because this is machine stitch sole so if you like the fote but you wanted a shoe that has a more classic shank and has more of a bend at the three quarter isn't as strong as fote um has an easier demi point you're gonna love my one personally um i've worn them all um if i was to choose for myself between fote and my one i would always go for my one because i like the fact that of course it can be made vegan but also I like this kind of shank. I like the shank where it bends nicely into my arch, whereas the standard Fate is, is very hard for me, even in the soft option. I like the fact that it's more lightweight and I've got, I can achieve a better demi point in it. So personally, that's my thoughts. Um, Maya One I, is a very popular model for me with fittings as well. I sell a lot of it. I don't tend to sell many Fuates or Fuate Proflex. Most people will opt for this version instead. Next up, we have Maya One Pro. So again, it's just like Maya One, same attributes. However, like I spoke about with the Pro technology, it features sound absorption. So it's more quieter. Um, and also it's a little bit, little bit more generous, not, not that much, but a um, little bit more generous in shank. And the paste of the box is a little bit more softer, not tons but there is a difference so if you're looking for a shoe that has a little bit more flexibility but you want that sound absorption go for this version and of course the Maya One Pro Flex Maya One Pro Flex ignored the shape of this one because um, it was one of my personal ones again we have same as Maya One um, but the shank in medium in a Pro Flex is very, very bendy. So if you need a shoe that's stage ready, or if you want a very pliable shank, then go for this one. However, be very careful with how you choose your shanks. You want to ensure that it supports you well enough. And if you want a shoe that has a great lifespan, you need to think about the shank you're choosing. When we're choosing a shank, we need to think about your strength of your feet, your ankle rotation. We need to think about your alignment in general, um, stability support. We need to think about what you're wearing the shoe for because of course, full-time students and professionals sometimes switch between shank strengths. And we need to be um, cautious of um, choosing shanks. You know, don't go for something too soft because it might not last you very long or support you very well. Um, unless of course you're dancing a role where it requires a, a softer shank, then by all means go for it. But don't go for something too hard where it doesn't enable you to show off your foot very well and doesn't um, get you over as well. Of course, getting over on, onto point, there are many factors for that, which I'll do for another time. 
So work with your fitter and your teacher to choose your shank strengths. And of course, if you want to play around with different shank strengths, you can do that too, if it suits you. But yeah, as you can see in ProFlex in my one, it's mega bendy. You can go to the hard version. The hard version is a little bit harder, but not really drastically. So that's the Maya One Pro Flex. And of course, with the Pro Flex, you also get the sound absorption combined. So it's Pro and Flex combined, sound absorption and flexibility. Next up, we're going to talk about the Triumph model. Triumph is um, a different paste. It is the lightweight, flexible paste. I'm just going to make sure I've got the right wording here for that because um, they use their own words for paste. So let me just take a peek at that. Um, so it's called lightweight elastic paste, by the way. And the lightweight elastic paste in the models built on Fate, you get that in Triumph, Triumph Pro. You get it in Super Triumph and Super Triumph Pre-Arched. And the Fate, the Fate um, Pro Flex, um the alana for one a lot alana for pro alana for pro flex all feature the classic smart paste so the only ones on fate last that feature this lightweight elastic paste are triumph triumph pro um super triumph and super triumph pre-arch now for those of you that don't like a harder paste and you fancy trying a paste that is this paste a little bit more lightweight you're gonna like this so can you see, it's much more pliable. Um, let me just talk to you a bit about the difference in glues um, so I can give you a bit more of a lowdown on that. Let me just scroll to the right page one moment. So in classic glue, the classic glue is made of natural materials. The composition has adaptive char characteristics. When the ballerina puts on her shoes, under the pressure, in addition to the heat and sweat, the form of the shoe adapts to the form of the foot. So that's classic glue. For We also have Tropicana glue, which is available on custom, and it's um, a free option. It's available at request. So again, with the requested shoes for American market, you can get them, you know, it takes two weeks production, then they ship on day 15. So that's amazing. Tropicana glue is great for humid climates. Um, we don't recommend it if you're in a cold climate because the shoe will feel too hard. With the Tropicana glue, I do have some customers that sweat a lot that do wear it and they like it, but just approach with caution. It's designed um, for damp climate with high temperature, so humid climates. Um, the classic glue during classes becomes too soft and the lifespan of the point shoe decreases. So if you're in a humid country and you're wearing a shoe with the classic glue or the lightweight glue, you might want to switch to Tropicana glue. It also helps... Um, Basically, it's made with natural materials as well, but it's more stable to water and temperature. So it's going to dry out quicker and it's going to extend the life of your platform and your box. So a great you know, option to have if you're in a humid climate or you're super sweaty. So that's Tropicana glue. Next up, we have the Miracle Glue, which is an innovative glue with memory effect. It adapts to the feet form, but stays flexible and resilient during dance. You can adapt the box form to your feet shape and profile with fingers. So basically what it means is you can maneuver it with your hands to adapt to your foot. And when you take your shoe off, it will ping back to shape, which it does. Um, and that is basically the same as the lightweight um, glue. Lightweight elastic. So yeah, as you can see, it's more flexible, right? With Triumph, the difference is we have a U-Vamp. Can you see this? Again, same profile. Wing is more flexible due to the paste. Platform is same, very oval, profile height. Same sides and heel as far as I'm aware. Outer sole is like Fuate, so an Alanova. So it's um, a hand stitch sole, can't come as vegan. Um, the layers of the shank actually feel, in my opinion, quite similar to Fate Pro Flex. And this is medium. And look, when I bend it, it bends quite similarly to the Fate Pro Flex. Can you see that? Very similar. However, this is more lightweight. I'm just gonna get up my notes about Triumph for you. So it also features longer and supportive wings, um, which provide flexibility due to elastic paste, like I just spoke about. 
it's perfect um, fit due to the lower heel height. So it has got a lower heel versus um, say 3007, 2007. The platform is actually wider compared to Fuerte and Maya 1. Yes, very true. So when I've worn these, you can definitely feel a difference. I'm just going to compare it for you to Fuerte. So by the way, um, let me get... These are both the same size and width, so it gives you a good comparison. So Fuerte on top, Triumph on the bottom. Can you see the difference? Because I can. This is more rounded and this is, there's not much space there. So there's definitely a big difference. When we put them together, there's a difference there as well. And when on point, I can tell you it definitely feels bigger. Um, then if we compare it to my one, yeah, it's different as well. Um, so we'll put my one on top and Triumph on the bottom. There's not as much difference as with Fote for some reason, in my opinion, but um, on point, you can definitely feel the difference there. And of course, like I mentioned, if you are wearing another Grishko Nikolai last um, or, you know, model from a different last and the platforms, you know, the shoe fits well, but the platform doesn't feel as broad to you, you can custom order it a little bit wider, not drastically, or just darn it. Um, because the problem is, is sometimes people switch to a model with a broader platform, but they don't think about the other attributes of the shoe. So the rest of the shoe doesn't fit them and they get problems. So you really don't fixate on the platform, fixate about the other attributes to fit you correctly. Also, just going to look at the notes to check if I missed something. It, um, yeah, it says the platform is wider compared to Fuerte and Maya 1 for easier balancing on point. Fabulous. It's lightweight, lightweight shoe and it's increased durability due to special elastic paste. Fabulous. So this has a lot of, you know, great upgrades from Maya 1. Um, personally, for me, right, I prefer a harder paste. So I like the Maya 1 better for me personally. But my customers, again, it's another popular model. Um, all the models I speak about from now on with Fuerte are shoes that I personally sell more so than Fuerte and Fuerte Pro Flex because they are upgraded versions of it. Um, I've never stocked a line of a one. Um, but yeah, we spoke about that earlier. Okay, so that's everything I need to tell you about Triumph. Triumph does also come in Pro Option, forgot to tell you this. So Pro Option, silent knot technology to ensure we get a more silent shoe that's that one okay next up we're going to go on to the upgraded version of triumph which is super triumph and it comes in a non-pre-arched and a pre-arched shank personally i stock the pre-arched because um, a lot of my customers like the pre-arched more however you know, um, do try the non pre arch version as well to see what you prefer because point shoes are very personal. Okay, now, if you're familiar with Dream Point 2007, also known as Allure, or you're familiar with Miracle from our shoes, they have this lovely plush lining, um, which in the Super Triumph, it's similar to Dream Point 2007 because the lining features the same way as Dream Point 2007. It features in the inner sole here and in the tip of the shoe, like a little foamy toe cushion. So in that way, it's similar to Dream Point because of that lining. Next up, it has Fermo technologies in the shank. So Fermo plastic shank. However, our plastic um, shanks are more like a traditional shank. They just warm up to your feet by heat. And they also, we kept the other attributes of the shoe to make it still a traditional shoe, which is very important for keeping feet healthy and giving you the right support. However, the pre-arched shank um, is different to the 2007, Dream Point 2007 pre-arched shank because it's made of thicker construction. And on the Super Triumph, as you can see, we have the outer sole that is used on Forte, Alanova, um, Triumph models. It's the hand-stitched sole and can cannot come vegan. It comes in different shank strengths like all the Grishko Nikolai shoes do. This is a soft. Now, in a soft, look how sturdy it is in the pre-arched version. It is very sturdy, but it has a lovely, delicious 
bend at the three quarter there it has a lovely roll through um of course feel free to try different shank strengths to suit you again we've got that beautiful wide platform for great balance it also features um how can i describe this it's it feels a lot different to triumph model on your foot because it has in my opinion hope i'm pretty sure this is true an even higher wing here um and i'm just going to read their notes too so they say um i'm just gonna zoom in on this page oh also i forgot to mention of course with the super triumph it's more of a ready to wear shoe so it's fabulous you don't have to break it in. Do not bend it with your hands because you can snap it. You just want to wear it from the get-go and let your feet mould the shoe, basically. So, in this version, um, in the Super Triumph and the Super Triumph Pre-Arched, um, they say that it's recommended for those who used to wear Fuate and Maya 1. More than three times longer lifespan versus the classical styles owing to the state-of-the-art chemical-free insole materials. It's paste-free and the use of thermoformable materials help make the insole very lightweight. The box made of natural materials absorbs moisture and is adjustable to any foot arch. The sole is assembled by hand with care for any footwork and muscle strengthening. Pre-arch shank makes the shoe ready to wear. Okay, so the non-pre-arch version is obviously a little bit stiffer, and I know that because I've worn it myself. I don't have one to show you here right now, but the non-pre-arch version is more stiffer and it doesn't have this pre-arch bend. So if you want the more ready-to-wear version, go for the pre-arch version of it. But yes, the shoes with innovative technologies such as Dreampoint 2007, pre-arch, also known as Lure, Super Triumph, Super Triumph pre-arched, all the models with the Fermo technologies um, have longer lifespan in general. So that's fantastic. For example, you might be a wearer of Triumph model and you want to um, get more longer lifespan out of your shank and box, then wow, Super Triumph would be a great shoe for you. Personally, again, it's another one of my shoes I sell a lot of. I really like it. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything in that one, to be quite honest with you. I'm just going to read the notes, check that I've not missed anything from this one. So they also say, by the way, just to let you know, that the Super Triumph standard is not pre-arch as we know, <clears throat> but also it's preferable for strong and well-trained foot. So they mean dancers with stronger feet who are more well-trained will get on with that model. I agree with that. They also say that the Super Triumph pre-arched is more flexible, yep, and more resilient support to your foot. The pre-arched shank gives extra comfort and support to the heel, especially if ballerina has high arch. So also the Super Triumph pre-arched, I personally have found great for dancers with higher arches because it has this bend. Now with a higher arched foot, sometimes if a shank is too flat, it wants to snap, but also it tends to do the twist, no matter what size and width combination you get. So that is a wonderful attribute to have. And I also find with Dreampoint 2007 pre-arched, um, the pre-arched version is great for higher arches as well as um, being good for lower arch as well, just depending on your foot strength and all the other things that go into choosing your shoe. Okay, so I've now gone through all of the models and told you about them. And now I just want to remind you that you can custom order, as I spoke about throughout this video. When you do a custom order, um, if you're not sure what you want to change, for example, you might find that you get a little bit extra fabric at the heel or the side quarters. You might find that the vamp is too long or too short. You might want a different cut vamp. Um, all these little things, work with a fitter or email, your, um, email us if you've not got a nearest retailer and work together on creating a more perfected version to suit you. For example, I'm going to go through some quick things that you can customise. I've done a video all about this actually on YouTube as well, so feel free to go and watch it. It tells us about customization. We can change vamp cut, vamp height, wing height. We can change the pace of the box, the platform a little bit, nothing crazy though, as I mentioned. We can change side quarters, heel height, satin, colour of satin. In some shoes, we can get canvas option as well. Um, you can sometimes also put this lining in to other shoes without it. You can change um, the way the, the sole is scored, so the grip of the sole. Um, you can change, obviously have vegan option if vegan option is available in that model. 
you can also um you know customize sizes for example you could have one shoe that is half a size bigger than the other shoe and have them as a pair rather than buying two pairs at once you can have different width shoes you can custom like a zero x width in some models um of course you can also go even more wider so you can have a 6x width um because the standard they go up to 5x you can change the shank and um, the way the shank is cut in some models three quarter half shank you can choose exactly where you want the shank to be cut to your exact measurement um easy roll through non easy roll through depending on the model um yeah pretty sure i've gone through everything you can customize <laughs> Um, there are so many variations, it's absolutely wonderful. So, you know, there always is a Nikolai Grishko model for you. Um, as mentioned, everyone I fit, they usually find four to five models that work for them. Some even like to wear, you know, different models um, depending what they're doing. So it's really fabulous the amount of options we have. Also, just to remind you that all of our shoes are handmade in Russia. And the cobblers um, also have a little number. So in your shoe, you'll have this series of numbers and the number at the very end is the maker number. Um, you'll find these, these series of numbers in one of the shoes only and it's towards the vamp, as you can see. Um, so, you know, sometimes dancers do request a maker, but um, generally, you know, there's not going to be a huge variety of difference. Only sometimes some people can notice differences if they've been wearing that shoe and they've got, you know, professionals more so. Um, but yeah, that's also an option. I also just wanted to speak a bit more about shank strengths and of course um, because we're speaking about Fuerte and the models built on Fuerte I'll be talking about those shank strengths. So um, obviously I've gone a little bit through about the shank strengths themselves in this video but let's go a little bit more into it. So I wanted to go through your options of shank first of all. So in standard Fuerte you can get um, super soft, soft, medium hard and the super hard is at request. So to give you an example, this is a standard medium and it's already pretty firm. So can you imagine what the super hard is like? That's going to be really, really firm. And it's very unlikely that in the super hard, for example, that you're going to get any bend at all at the arch area. So bear that in mind. Um, and of course, because the shank construction in Fuerte and Alanova is very firm, um, it is more thicker feeling than say um, Triumph or Super Triumph pre arch or Maya 1. So the shank construction in Fuerte and Alanova 1 are the same. Um, so they're going to feel that kind of thickness. So just approach with caution when you're deciding on shank strength. Now to choose shank strength, there's a lot involved with choosing shank strength. You want to think about your arch. Have you got flat feet? Have you got low arch, medium arch, high arch? The flexibility of your foot and your ankle. You want to think about your technique, the strength of your foot and ankle. You want to think about what you're dancing. You want to think about what your teacher says as well, because um, full time students and professionals often wear different shank strengths depending on what they're doing and what they expect from their shoe. However, for example, you can get some dancers that are capable of wearing anything um, from say super soft to hard they just have a foot that can work them all but you have some feet for example that if you were to put them in a super soft shank um the, not you know regardless of the actual model they would find it wobbly they wouldn't be supported they might go too far over onto point um, and they might find certain moves in ballet difficult in that, that shank. And, you know, the opposite, you might put someone in a hard shank or a super hard shank and it might be too hard for them and they might not be able to dance as well in that shoe. So the things with choosing shank strength, um, you want to think about what I just mentioned, but also do work together with your teacher and think about what you're dancing as well. And of course, don't be afraid to wear different shank strengths for different things. However, if you're a beginner, please approach this with caution. Make sure you you know um, you work with the fitter and teacher more so because when you're a beginner, you don't quite understand how the shank should work for your foot. And also um, by wearing the right shank strength, you wanna make sure that you're able to build strength in it and be supported. Um, if you go too hard when you're a beginner, you might start to rely on the shoe too much, but also you might find that you're not able to work through the whole shoe um, to get that nice roll through um, or different attributes of point work will be tough for you. 
So you need to be very cautious with choosing the shank. And to give you an example of a professional, um, for example, they might like to wear something that's more pliable and stage ready, so they don't have to break the shoe in as much, or they might wear a shank that is pliable because they are doing a lot of um, uh, jumping in their shoes, um, or they want a lot more flexibility in the demi point, or they might choose a shank strength that is harder for say, um, if they're on point a lot, so you know, if it's a part of der piece or if it's a piece where they've got a lot of time on actual point rather than coming down and you know, going from flat to point, there's different ways that shanks work. And of course, if you've watched my videos before, you'll understand that um, the shank constructions um, vary in models, um, which I've mentioned in this one too. Um, just wanted to go through that. So it's very important to be very um, cautious of the shank strength that you choose. And sometimes it can take a while for you to find the perfect shank for you. And that's why working with a great fitter can really help you with that also. Okay, so um, I just wanted to also go through the variations of shank and what it's available in. In Fouette standard and in Alanova standard, um, you can get the super soft, soft, medium, hard, and as I mentioned, super hard on request. Um, now with the Proflex, it's different. So in Proflex, in Alanova, in um, Fouette, in Maya One, you can get, um, let me just get the page up so I can remember these details. You can get soft, medium or hard option in the Proflex. Now for me personally, I have um, have worn quite a few of the Proflex variations. And for example, in Maya One, I don't find there to be a massive great deal of difference between the medium and hard, but maybe that's just me. I haven't worn it in the soft option, so I can't really tell you about that. I have felt it and it is super flexible. Um, but yeah, just be, be cautious. Don't go too flexible because as I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you go too flexible, um, it could affect the lifespan of your shoe, but also it could um, affect your um, alignment in the shoe and also the support that you have in the actual shank itself to your foot. So now this is where it gets different, of course, because in the Super Triumph and Super Triumph Pre-Arch, the shanks are made of firmer materials. So the difference is, is of course, it's already quite sturdy um, because of the materials and the way it's constructed. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, this is a soft. Now in this model, you can get, I'm just gonna get the page up, One moment in super triumph standard and pre um, pre arched versions you can get um super soft soft medium hard super hard and super super hard um, and of course often the harder shanks are at request um especially super hard and super super hard um super soft also is um sometimes a shank that is um on request as well but you know if you need it you only have to wait two weeks for production usually ship on day 15 for the us market okay so that's about those shanks then of course um in triumph standard and triumph um pro you can get i'm pretty sure it's similar to like fuate and alanova and standard my one let's just get them up just to be sure because i want to be certain i'm giving you the right information so in triumph and in triumph pro yep it's the same in you can get super soft soft medium hard and super hard um the best way to describe to you obviously the differences is as the shank gets harder it feels firmer okay so and as it gets softer, you're going to get more pliability. But of course, this is um, this is the medium in Triumph, but look how flexible it is. So going by that alone, make sure you try on the models first before you start thinking about um, ordering in different shanks, because you've got to learn the construction of the shanks obviously varies, as we've spoken about. I hope that helps you guys. So to sum up this video, I hope that you've gain some insight into the Fouate last and the models built on it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me um, or you can message through our website as well. And of course, always find your nearest retailer. Um, and if your retailer doesn't have any um, the models in stock or sizes or shanks, you can ask them to get them for you. 
it's always best to have a fitting. Um, also, of course, um, if you do want a virtual fitting, if you're not able to get to your nearest store, that is an option. But however, do bear in mind that virtual fittings are not, of course, the same as in person, but it's always an option there if you need it. Please subscribe to my channel and please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please follow us on all our social media in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.